Hey Tubes, Jonathan's wrong here, Truth and Budget. How we all doing? So anyway, the uh, whatever anniversary of 9-11 happened recently, so, you know, there's been more uh, uh, videos, you know, coming up, uh, you know, older ones too, just, just due to algorithms. <clears throat> so anyway, I was watching a very interesting one, which I forget the name of right now. Um, unfortunately, there's there's a thing amongst the truth community nowadays where if you don't where if you don't think the Earth's flat or you talk about space, no one else will listen to anything else you have to say, which is a shame because there's a wealth of information out there for uh, you know people who don't who don't have the whole picture. But uh, you need to keep in mind none of us have the whole picture. So just because just because someone mentions you know. You know, something could be seen from space, or space programs, or space weapons, or like whatever, doesn't discredit everything else that they say. But anyway, so it's just interesting how the everything's like so many things are connected. So for one, um, all right, you know me. I sometimes just start in the middle, and I have to reset. Um, so, during 9-11, a number of things happened. Uh, one, a couple of those things were, uh, they, used, they used holograms in, in, in public to, you know, fake something. Uh, because I don't know what you believe, but it's a matter of physics that an airplane doesn't melt into a, into a steel girdered building that is designed to take impact, uh, impact from buildings. Um, airplanes are made out of aluminum. Steel is harder than aluminum. It doesn't matter how fast it's traveling, other than the fact that the speed it was traveling was too fast. The speed it was traveling, it would not be able to, um, to control itself, especially with some dude who has, you know, couple weeks or months or whatever of flight training it's not possible um, the speed uh, the speed and how low the plane was it's just it's just not possible it's physically impossible everything that happened on 9-11 was physically impossible now something else that people don't really discuss what is the amount of wreckage there wasn't any the 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 entire building was was pulverized in midair it was turned into dust in midair. There was there were no set explosives. That's just another red herring. You can if you actually watch the footage, the thing explodes into dust. Go watch any other you know uh, demolitions, and that that doesn't happen. The building was literally vaporized. Oh, a whole bunch of deer. Oh dear. Um. So yeah, and if you look at the gash that was supposedly left by a plane that, that, that could have been made by an, energy, by an energy weapon. And you look at the behavior of the people and you have people like taking off their clothes and everything because they're, they're getting affected, you know, the, um, the uh, wet clothes are affected by the by whatever radio waves or microwaves or whatever they're using to generate the uh, high energy frequency, um, you know, it's it's like you know that uh that uh, spontaneous human combustion stuff. It's it's just like the, the the there were there were corpses. I don't looking at I don't like looking at dead people, but sometimes for uh, research purposes you have to. It's 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 forensics. And the, and the way some of the people were burned was just like not. It was clearly not by fire, and you can see that their clothes were not burned. Um, there's and there's uh, similar things like that happened in I believe Iraq when they're uh, they're they're testing those uh, high energy weapons. But anyway, there's um, the results of that within the building, and there's uh, results of that elsewhere also, where things things uh, like metal and stuff is um, clearly affected, warped and, and distorted, and you know sometimes liquefied things burning from within, like the trees in California and all that, same stuff, but I, it's just the, um, they, uh, they, they, they didn't want people to test for thermite, they, they didn't want to, uh, people to find out that there wasn't anything there at all, 
like there was in the in the crash site uh, where uh, was it Flight 51 went down. There's no anything trace of anything. If if it were a rocket, it, it would have left some trace amounts of uh, the uh, radiation from the um, any explosive leaves uh, radiation. That's and that and that goes back to how the how they're able to to, to fake the A bomb. They could just have an explosion in the desert. No one knows how far away it is because it's the desert. Huge pile of TNT and they blow it up. Looks impressive, and then there's there's radiation um, because that happens with an explosion. Blah blah blah. Uh, there was no radiation in uh, in any of these. Um, when you look at the steel, it was uh, warped and split and frayed, like a, like a like a baseball bat. Like it wasn't like. Melted, it wasn't molten steel. It was something that was it was breaking apart by its bonds. Uh, it was it was it was disintegrated. Everything was turned to dust. Now this is connected through the whole blue beam and everything they're doing in uh, their when what they're doing to the people in California and probably other places. This is all. This is all the same stuff. 9/11 was important because that was the big field test. Where they, where they, that, that was, that was. I'm kind of realizing it as I'm saying it, but that was the field test for for the alien invasion. That was that was them testing their ability to, to use holograms. Uh, they found. Uh, you know that they needed a clear sky. That there, if there were certain backgrounds. They would, uh, they would, they would create distortions like how the wing of the airplane disappears. Um, that's that's because of the uh, background of the um, the uh, backgrounds interfering. You you'll you'll see that with with uh, blue screen technology, green screen technology as well, where things will appear in in front of things that shouldn't be in front of things, and vice versa. Happens with NASA all the time. Anyway, this is all leading towards, I believe because it's just they keep saying everything they keep talking about happens there's <laughs> anytime they discuss something to, to, to the degree of the of the uh, fake alien invasion they they they, they follow through because it's in people's minds you know the whole Orson Welles thing that was a that was a psyop as well and it's all connected because these, 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 the, the human beings are just pawns. The principalities of darkness, the POD, they're thousands, thousands of years old. They've been planning a lot of this stuff for a very long time, and they have a good long view. They, so, something, you know, as seemingly in, insignificant as the uh, universal pictures logo of an airplane traveling around a sphere predating any actual pictures of a spherical planet pictures with a big asterisk you know every everything matters this is all connected it's all connected everything's connected so it it's it's just interesting how how deep everything goes and how how actually connected everything is but anyway uh 9-11 was a was was one of the great field tests. They, they 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 did some. They worked some dark magic as well, because there's hard to find footage of when Bush was with those school children, and they were reading seemingly random words off of of a board. They were casting a spell. You can see everyone very you when they're working magic. You can see how scared and excited everybody is. You can look at everyone's faces and see how. How? Because they can, they can just like we feel the Holy Spirit, they can feel dark entities, and and they get mixed feelings from it, as you as you should. Um, and 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 you can tell how high up on on the ladder someone is by how kind of disgusted and afraid they look, because that's the natural human reaction to a demon is 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 repulsion. They try to they try to wear that away. Through uh, pop culture, through movies, through through all sorts of stuff, you know, there's all sorts of you know lovable dragons and demons and crap all over the place. We're we're you know robots. We're supposed to be comfortable with these things. The whole uncanny valley is a natural reaction 
react to things that are unnatural. We should be horrified by things that are speaking that shouldn't speak. That should be disturbing. That, that, is, that is set in us. So anyway, I definitely think 9-11, um, oh, the, the words the children said. Um, there was, uh, I forget the exact chant that they said over and over again, but one of the things in there was Iron Kite. One of the, uh, you know, the uh, collection of seemingly random words, one of the, one of the, that they're reading off the board was Iron Kite. Iron is an important word. Iron predates steel. And in the Bible, when, when they reference iron, that is, that is, that is a reference to steel. Um, you know how I feel about the Bible and parables and how things are literal, but you can't have words for things that don't exist yet and have, and have people understand them. So things, you know, so, so things become a scroll you eat. Things, you know, you know, things, uh, you know, the things become, uh, uh, steel becomes iron, you know? Because they just, they just didn't have words for things. But anyway, the melding of clay and iron is, is, is the final age, which is, which is where we're getting at with the whole transhumanism. It just really, it doesn't even need to be transhumanism. We all have metal and plastic in, inside of us. Think of how many people have their bodies uh, repaired with, uh, with uh, titanium and screws and plates and all sorts of stuff. We're already, we, we are already the mixture of uh, clay and iron. It's already, uh, it's already, it's already happening. Clay, clay being flesh because we are, we are made from earth. Uh, one of, like, uh, Adam itself means from earth. That is, uh, as does the, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, closest non-biblical mythology is the, um, Oh, gosh, why do I always forget their darn names? You know, the Epic of Gilgamesh and all that stuff? Ugh. Anyway, they're, they're, um... Like, like, the whole reason why I think that guy mis mistranslated all of them and, uh, and uh, released them as the uh, Earth Chronicles was so people wouldn't actually read them. Because a lot of those, those, uh, those myths uh, correlate with the Bible and the Book of Enoch and all that. Uh, a lot of what Gilgamesh does is exactly what uh, is exactly like Hercules. Um, the, it, it, uh, basically, the uh, all those stories of the uh, gosh darn it, I can't I can't remember their names right now. All I can remember is the city of Ur and uh, Cubic. But anyway, um, there it's basically their 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 mythos is the missing link between the Bible and uh, world mythology. It's uh, right in between. And uh, demons represented within the, um, those stories are, uh, are represented in other mythologies under uh, different names. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's the whole shine L on that one. Uh, something else I, I was thinking about the other day was the whole uh, language thing, how vastly different languages are, and how that's just further evidence of how uh, human beings were uh, broken apart and their uh, language scattered, because it just doesn't make sense otherwise, that, that our languages would be so vastly different. And uh, there's cultures, uh, one of them in particular is uh, my, my Indian her uh, heritage of the Chickasaw. If you look at the, the, the Chickasaw language, it is clearly very very Asian if, if you look at the Chickasaw people they look very Asian now they they splintered off a very long time ago very long time ago how can you explain that their language is, can 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 be so similar you know the if if there was one base language which which there would be if we all gathered Really, there there just would be anyway, because because Adam kind of kind of made you know, kind of made our language what we speak, because uh, we don't speak the uh, the angelic tongue, so so Adam kind of kind of you know, and then probably uh, 
talking with Eve. Actually, <laughs> knowing from how much women uh, like talking more than men, I, uh, Eve's probably uh, responsible for a good 80% of the language. Anyway, uh, there, would, there would be one root language and every other language would be very similar to it. Uh, there's examples now with uh, Germanic, um, uh, you know, uh, Latin. You know, these 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 languages are 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 still are still somewhat similar. English is still somewhat similar to German. There's there's similarities. Um, you could you could hear someone speaking German, and you'll 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 if you if you know enough English, you could kind of get an idea of what they're saying more or less. Uh, Kind of. I mean, you le you least catch the intent, you know. Uh, it's a it's a similar language. Um, same thing where you know, oh, if you speak Latin, you speak you know, derpa derpa derp. Um, you know, think you know the uh, French, Spanish, all these languages are are just are are uh, are literally uh, barbarized versions of Latin because they're the uh, the languages that the um, the uh, barbarians spoke, uh, except the Germanic tribes, which just 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 kept just kept speaking Germanic. But um, uh, there was there was the stronger posts within the um, uh, past the Rubicon within within Spain and uh, France, so the the Latin languages held better. But anyway, what the heck was I talking about? Oh yeah, so so the whole language issue, the fact that that Asian languages are so extremely different than like African languages, which are so extremely different than European languages that like they don't even use similar noises that when you try to like you know when they try to uh, learn a, another language they have a they, they, they literally can't pronounce certain sounds uh, there's some crazy African languages that still do like look the uh, click clack things mid word that that like that is that is not something that everyone does you know we don't share that that uh, that language trait for sure that is that is bizarre outside of their culture. For 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 you know, like we could you know make little click clack noises. Uh, I get a fat tongue, so it's a little more it's a little more difficult for me. But um, I get a big mouth and a fat tongue. But anyway, um, so like it's just it's just the languages are so extraordinarily different. It just it 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 doesn't add up for there being one root language and. You know, because I'll, this is an argument I have all the time, and people are like, oh, you know, derp -a derp -a derp. It doesn't matter. The languages are still somewhat similar. There's similarities. Someone who speaks French can talk to someone who speaks French Creole. You know, someone who's, you know, who's a uh, someone from Portugal could converse with with someone from 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 Cape Verde, and they could, you know, they could they could have an idea of what the other is saying. Even though it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a completely different language. Um, for anyone wondering what Creole means, it, uh, it, it basically means Africanized, uh, such as um, Africanized Dutch. Uh, Creole Dutch is Afrikaans, which is a very interesting language. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I uh, studied language a, a long time ago. I've, I've studied a lot of things. As uh, much as as I as I probably sound like a dipshit while I'm speaking because I'm I'm definitely the the common man for sure. I um and just I don't I don't like I don't like it a, a lot of quote unquote big words are just unnecessary and they tend to alienate people and if people don't know what you're saying then what's the point? Some quote unquote big words are just are just better used in certain areas, which is why I will you know pepper my language with something, you know, something fancy here, here and here and again. You know, it's not me trying to sound smart, it's just really the best word for it. And I just don't like, you know, sounding like, an, uh, like, a, like a Harvard professor. Sometimes I will, you know, just say a sentence that is, that, that is structured as such, but it's just, it just how it, it's just how it comes out. Um, but yeah, language, language is very interesting to me. And, um, yeah, it's just one of those things I uh, noticed when I um, started started looking into the Chickasaw language. When you see it written down, it looks like Japanese, and and um, 
lot of the a uh, lot of the uh, Chickasaw with a lot of Chickasaw in them look look like they could be friggin' Chinese. Uh, the look look into it. Look into the the uh, tribal chief Bill uh, Anoa Tubby. <laughs> it's it's pretty. I'm pretty sure it's it's pronounced I know a tubby, but it's not spelled like that. Um, it's spelled it's spelled with an A and a, I don't know. But yeah, check that guy out and tell me. Uh, yeah, at the Chickasaw website, they're very corporate. My tribe's super corporate. Um, so you, it, the the uh, Chickasaw website's not hard to find. Check out old Bill uh, and tell me that that dude does d does not look like he's Mongolian. Seriously. Please. Um, but yeah. Oh gosh. Was there anything else? This is what happens when I don't pay attention to the time. Uh, 20 minutes go by. Uh, yeah, I can't, can't think of anything else I wanted to blab about. But anyway. Excuse me. Look into the whole um, uh, high energy weapons used during 9-11 uh, it's 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 the best example it, it just everything makes sense with it how how the building disappeared how it was just immediately pulverized into dust and spread everywhere the state of the steel the fact that the paper didn't burn the fact that people's clothing didn't burn the fact that people were trying to tear off their clothing and jumped out of a building in areas that weren't burning um, it looked like they were going nuts those poor people so horrible that whole thing was so horrible. What a disgusting, horrible thing. Um, but look into how the, the airplane disappears into the building. Ch look into, look into you know, uh, 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 metallurgy. You, to be a complete truther, you gotta know stuff. You gotta know science and you gotta know physics because those are the things that they, that they try to hide. They don't want you to know science, they, they don't want you to know physics, they don't want you to know history, they don't want you to know biology, they don't want you to know a lot of things. So learn those things. Learn them, learn the real things. Actually look into it. And as far as science goes, the older the book, the better. To an extent. <laughs> I've seen some crazy, uh, well, yeah, the, the, once you get into the whole eugenics era, uh, biology books get a little weird, but that's also the Darwin era of the whole uh, evolution bullcrap, which doesn't all add up on, in, in, on any level. If you study biology, uh, the, the story, the theory of evolution immediately breaks down because there are cells in, contained within every living creature that are so perfect that if that if that if one that if one function of their many functions was misfiring, that that creature will not live. It will not come to fruition and survive. Therefore, evolution does not work by that fact alone. By that one singular fact, by the fact that we have cells in our body that need to be perfect, that have several functions, that if one of those functions do not function, that cell does not function and that being dies means that we cannot randomly come about. All right, Darwin himself said that if there were if they, if if there were to prove to be any organ, a cell's an organ, for there to be any organ that could not accidentally, you know, by by random chance come about, the entire theory would dissolve. This is this is this was written in his notes. This was one is one of his concerns because he was he was you know being the puppet. Go look at the go 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 look go Google image search Darwin shh and go see the picture of him giving the sign of silence. That is the sign of silence that people give when they're when they're when when they're low level. You know when they just join the secret societies, and it's hey. Look at me, I just joined a secret society. Secrets. That's what that's that's the 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 sign of silence is the sign of initiation. You you see people do it early in their careers and then they don't do it anymore. It's because it's a sign of initiation. They're showing off their colors. Darwin did it just like many people do it. Look into it. Alright. You gonna you gonna trust the word of a uh, of a Freemason uh, Jesuit satanic shell 
who he himself said that if something happens that did happen, the, his whole theory unravels. So there you go. Look into it. If you dare. Um, yeah, like I said, that's about it for now. Um, questions, comments. Um, I love answering questions. What's, what's the point of knowing a bunch of stuff if you can't share it? Um, I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful night and God bless you.